748, election day coming right up. We have another presidential debate on the radio tonight on 96.5 WKZO. And as we approach election day, we're talking to the candidates. Yesterday we talked with Bill Farmer. He's running against state representative in the 63rd district, Jace Bolger. Mr. Bolger joining us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Lori. How are you? Good. So you you have the gig now. You I have do. the job. <laughs> and tell us about some of your accomplishments. Well, as you, you talked about the weather, the sun is coming out in the state of Michigan as far as our outlook. The, the future is much brighter in the state of Michigan now than it was two years ago. If we were talking two years ago, we would have been uh, talking about how the state had to solve a $1.5 billion deficit. We would have been talking about debt that had been piled up year after year after year, and we would have been talking about an unemployment rate that exceeded 14% because the state had lost about a million jobs in the prior decade. Now, those things are turning around. The budget is balanced. We've gone from deficit to surplus. We now have money in our savings account. We've been able to invest additional dollars into education, into state police, and into our roads. And thankfully, our citizens, our small businesses, are creating jobs. We've seen over the last 18 months 100,000 jobs created in Michigan. So people have more opportunities, but we still have a long way to go. We've reduced debt in the state, but we still have much debt that we inherited. We have those jobs being created, but again, we had lost more jobs than that in the prior decade. So we've got a lot of work to do, but we're turning the corner, and Michigan is getting on the right path. You're a Calhoun County guy, but you have connections to Kalamazoo County as well. That's correct. I live in Marshall, and the district spans Calhoun and Kalamazoo counties. But I have a business that we started uh, 16 years ago over in Kalamazoo County. What is that business? We update phone records for big companies. So uh, we, we actually don't have any clients based in Michigan. We bring all of that work into Michigan that otherwise would be done in other states. What is your background? A small business owner, a husband. I'm married to my high school sweetheart, father. Uh, together we have two teenagers. Our son Nick is a freshman in college, and our daughter Megan is a junior at Marshall High School. So it's that experience as a small business owner and a husband and father that I brought to the job, and it's that uh, concern for their future. Uh, our future grandkids, my wife Molly and I remind our kids, we hope they're uh, quite a ways off in the future, but uh, those future grandkids, we want to have the opportunity to live here in Michigan. It breaks my heart as we talk to so many grandparents who had to watch their families leave in the prior decade, and those families, of course, with them took their kids. And so grandparents now have to leave the state to celebrate holidays. Now that's reversing. That's, uh, that's coming back. Those people are coming back. Those families are being reunited, and that's why we need to continue to move forward. There is an investigation going on in what's being called an election rigging scandal that you are involved with. How now, can our li- – go ahead. Sure. I was just going to say, now, there have been four reviews where Republicans, Democrats, and nonpartisans have each dismissed the complaints. Uh, the Democrats are focused on the how of that party switch, of why one of their members was fed up that their party would not focus on solutions. They're focused on the how he left because they can't allow the conversation to be about the why he left. And they're also trying to distract. They're trying to drive the conversation to that issue because they don't have solutions, because they know that in the prior decade we got to see in Michigan what their proposals did. And those proposals led to more spending, higher debt, people leaving the state, and massive job losses. So they want to talk about all of that, but I'm focused on the issues. Yeah, I'm but focused still. on more jobs and better careers, and I'm focused on more efficient state government. But you don't how, – how can people – you know, when they hear stuff like this, and that's when they say they don't trust politicians anymore. Well, you, they're looking at the attacks. And as, as I mentioned, there have been four different reviews, and uh, those reviews have each found that there was not wrongdoing. And those reviews have been done by Republican, Democrats, and nonpartisans. So the Democrats are certainly spending a lot of money to keep the issue alive, to distract and to talk about that. But the issues that matter to voters are the issues of solving problems that have been facing the state and plaguing the state. And and let's speak openly. Uh, The issue is that there are a lot of special interests who are mad about the reforms that we've been making. And they're they're attacking. They're coming out and seeking to distract. Uh, And we need to be sure that we focus on solutions and we focus on problems. Jace Bolger is the incumbent running for state representative in the 63rd District. We thank you for joining us. 753.